currently 3 a.m. and I have about eight hours on the highway to get all the way up to Georgia to two wheels of suches and then we're gonna be starting a Smokey 500 tomorrow. Hope you come along for this ride. So here we are at two wheels of suches in Georgia. This is our meet point and a really big popular spot for bikers just to meet up and stuff. Look at this bridge. It's so cool. It's just I mean, it's clean, you got fire pits everywhere, picnic tables, all this is camping area. You got this little stream right there. Back here, a firewood. What is that? 20 bucks per wagon load. Holy smoke, that's a lot of firewood. <laughs> but over here, they got this bathhouse. You can see a lot of videos online on it. One thing you haven't seen or I couldn't find online is like videos inside the cabin. So I'm going to show you that as well. But check this out. Look at this, little barbecue pits. Nice shading for camping. I am cabin number three, or three, up here. Okay. It's just super nice. I'm just going to park my bike up here in the shade, actually. Right here. And then I'll show you guys inside this cabin. Just take a minute and appreciate this awesome place. They've got this walking trail back there. More wood and that stream flow there. Another stream flowing through up there. And they got a restaurant. The restaurant's closed. Some fellows up there stated it's only open on the weekends. But what an awesome camp spot. I believe it's like 20 bucks for tent and cabin is roughly around i believe 50 or 70. nothing fancy something to get you over after a long ride on the highway as you see we got a fan two twin size beds a lamp some windows a heater no ac that's a little bit of a stinker but it's not bad it's shaded i don't really feel hot in here but uh AC would be nice after you're from the highway. So anyways, here are, hey, there I am. Here are the cabins, cool coat hanger. This is the cabins and two wheels of such as. So we are getting started on day one of the Smoky 500, leaving two wheels of such as. I believe we have a little bit of pavement before we actually get to the dirt, but we had a pretty sweet turnout. We actually had 12 people from us. Some folks came up from Louisiana. Mississippi even some folks from Georgia joined us here. So again, our total count is 12 How absolutely cool is that and this ride is going to be a blast. Hopefully the triumph does well as well So of course I wasn't recording for the cool stuff, but if you guys can see back there, we have that tree and we all had to go underneath that tree. But of course, as it always goes, you're never recording for the good stuff. Now we are getting to some stuff that's a little bit easier, but a little uh, rutted out. I mean, nothing's been hard on this by any means. Some of just a few more rocks, you kind of got to pick your line a little bit. Some of them, like for me, come around and throw my back wheel up. Here we go, got a car here. But this one doesn't seem to have 
this little stretch here doesn't seem to have many uh, big old rocks in the road by any means. But some tighter turns. Yeah, this one is rutted out. Look at this. Jeez. Now the GoPro doesn't pick these up. Tight turns and ruts. Previous one was a whole bunch of big rocks. Not bad. Always fun to maneuver around instead of just a straight easy shot. Whoa. Went off. Oh, so up there. Did he go with it or just the bike? Jeez, Lapidus. One, two, three. Yeah, I hope the rest of it's gonna work. It should. There you go. I had to put my foot down a little bit. I saw those boulders. They kind of sneak up on you on those water crossings. Gosh, those water crossings are fun. So I went in that turn a little bit too tight right there. And then uh, the lower ground was way too low. So we are currently heading on our last leg of today's ride. This is Whit Road. And we're gonna have the Whit Road cross, the creek crossing. The one you see a lot of videos on YouTube. We had to take a few detours today, but we still covered everything. Had one guy slide down a cliff. Luckily some trees were there to catch him and his bike. All is good. But again, this will be our last little bit for today. We'll get some clips of the creek crossing as well. But what of you as the entire ride is? That's what I should have done. I should have went to the right. I went to the left and dipped in. You don't want to fly either. Yeah! Everyone made it without falling. I'm soaked though. Cool. 
That's not a good start. <laughs> I need a boot dryer! Some of those creek crossings were incredibly deep and they're just deceiving because the boulders in the middle and everything and okay we got another, oh this is just a little tiny one. Anyways, they're just deceiving because number one, you don't know how deep they are and where's that one boulder in the middle, you know, but wow, they are absolutely fun, even with this handful of a big bike. So it's 8 a.m. and we are on our last leg of the Smoky Mountain 500 here, ending back in Suches, Georgia at two wheels of Suches. Hopefully this last leg we take it nice, slow and steady, but wow, this path is incredibly rocky so far so pretty bumpy as of now